Question 21. Put numbers on the spinner so that the probability of spinning a square number is double the probability of spinning a prime number. So we could, there are lots of answers to this. So we first of all need to see what square numbers and prime numbers are. So square numbers could be uh, one squared is one, two squared is four, three squared is nine, four squared is 16, five squared 25, six squared 36. And prime numbers, um, two, three, five, seven, 11, 13. So we want it to be double for the square number. We need double the amount of square numbers as we need prime numbers. So there's many ways you can do this. So you could have two square numbers and one prime number. Or you could have four square numbers, choose four square numbers and two prime numbers. And if you did either of those options, you would end up with the probability of choosing square being double because four is double two and two is double one. So we'll color code this. So if we were to choose four square numbers, we could choose any four from here. So let's say one, nine, 16, 25. And then we would choose two prime numbers. So any two from this list. So let's say three, eight and 11. And the probability of choosing square would be four out of six. Prime would be two out of six. So four out of six is double two out of six. You could also just do two square numbers. So I'll do that over here. So two square numbers, we could have just gone for nine and 36. And then choose only one prime number. So one prime number, we could have choose 11. And then all the other numbers, we could then choose, make sure they're not square or prime. So, for example, we could choose 15. That's not square or prime. We could choose 18. That's not square or prime. And we could choose 24 is not square or prime. And that would give, would give you a probability of choosing a square of just two because nine and 36 are the two square numbers. So that's two out of six. And the prime would be just the one. 11 so that would be one out of six but again two out of six is double one out of six so there's various ways um you could answer that question but you need to make sure you are aware of what the square numbers and prime numbers actually are first 